God, that's a good one. That's a big fish. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here at this pond right down the road from my house. I'm here with my mom. Can't really see it from over here, but on the edge right here, there's a ton of the carpet algae, as we call it. It's super thick, and over there is completely covered. So I've got a frog tied on, but it's not the best time of day. It's about 5 p.m. I've got that, a glide, and a wacky rig tied on. My mom is just using a wacky rig. Hopefully we can catch a few fish, enjoy. Big fish. He absolutely crushed it too. It's not a bad one. That's definitely the biggest fish I've ever caught out of this pond though. That, I mean, that fish stopped it like dead in its tracks. I'm gonna go get the scale for him. So upper threes probably. Big one. Uh, I'd say right at three, three and a quarter. I mean, he stopped that, the KGB Chad, Chad Chad, the Spro one. Dead in his track. Good thing I'm close enough to the car. I brought this. I don't want to keep it on the water for too long in this heat. 213, 212. So, like, almost three pounds. He'd be bigger if he was fatter, or if he wasn't fat. I'm saying if he was longer, like how little his mouth is. This fish has got the gut of a four and a half. Got to get him out over the cheese. Terrible release, but letting him go in this stuff sucks. I use this perch color of the glide, even though there's not perch in these ponds because it looks close enough to a bluegill, and this is the closest to a bluegill color they sell over this lure. He hit it insanely hard, though. I thought he was bigger than that because it was a gut. I thought he was like three and a half, almost four maybe, but these fish in here love the glide whenever you're just doing it real slow and then do it like really, really quick and then just let it sit for a second and they crush it. It's one of the bigger fish we've caught out of here. He missed it. First cast with the frog. Gave him plenty of time and he missed it. No weight when I set the hook. The longer we stay here, the less the wind is, like it's finally like calming down because it's in, more in the evening now. And it's, the grass when we got here started here. Now it's slowly going out. That poor fish. <laughs> he got thrown up on the bank from the hook set. Perfect. Both hooks. He hit it like a six pounder though. I thought that was going to be a giant. I'm not going to lie. I expected a lot more like pullback whenever I set the hook on him. Black Spro Frog. Back into the cheese he goes. This stuff is so thick carpet grass. I knew there'd be one on this log right here. There always is. Grass or no grass. Oh. I know you guys heard that blow up, but he missed it completely. Gave him all the time in the world. Let's see if he comes back. Miss it again. Miss it again and again. Oh my god. That first the second hit of the, the two on the second cast, he sent it flying a foot in the air. Oh, he missed it again. Again. Oh my god. That is that's four and five misses for this fish. He 
just came completely out of the water for it and just slapped it with his tail. I know you guys saw his tail out of the water, hopefully. That is miss number six of this fish. Come on. Get it. Oh my god. They can't eat it in this stuff. It's too thick. That's number seven. I think he's finally done. <sighs> Not one of those hook sets that I tried to do where he'd miss it. Yeah, I mean, again, as I'm talking about it, he missed it again. There's no weight. They're not eating it. He's just pulling it like he's grabbing the tail or something. This is just stupid. This fish has missed the frog nine times. What I was saying when he ate it, though, is they're literally not getting hooks. Like, I could wait all the time in the world after they eat it, and there's nothing there. I'll come back over here before we leave. That was crazy. I'm keeping my rod tip down to keep it, like, super indented on the mat. Might need to try the Jordan Lee trick. I don't know if you guys saw that, but the pro bass fisherman, Jordan Lee, what he does is he takes jig rattles and pulls the tail out of his frog, the skirt, and puts rattles there instead so they can like hone in on it better in this thick stuff. I leave for vacation in two days, but when I get back, I think I'm gonna order some rattles and make a video on that. Give it a try, see if it makes a difference. That fish blew up on something else and I cast it to him. He ate it. This would be an insane day of frog fishing if these fish would eat the lure. That's not a bad one. I don't know if you guys can hear that on camera, but that fish ate a bluegill or something off the surface over there on that pad, and I cast it right to where he hit. Heard him eat something, cast it right to him, and he ate it. Absolutely crazy. Probably a two pounder. Pound and three quarters. Back into the cheese. That should be fish number like five or something, but I had a horrible hook set on that one because I was messing with my Go GoPro. The other one missed my frog 10 times or nine times, whatever, something stupid. They're eating today, the frog at least. And the glide too, I guess. That's crazy. There's one. Oh, spit it. At least I had it hit. I don't know what you guys saw that. Probably none of it. This GoPro loves to shut itself off, saying the, uh, the SD card is not good enough. This is the best SD card SanDisk sells. So, don't know what's wrong with it, but right here at my feet in this little opening in the grass have a probably another two two and a quarter ate the glide again another two pounder on the glide he crushed it too right on my feet I really wish i was on camera but he ate right there at my feet i really wish he was on for that sucks Oh my God, that's a good one. That's, 
This is crazy when they're eating the glides here. That fish just came up and I wasn't expecting, there's no way to hook set. That's why I just did the Gary Yamamoto reel and hook set there. <laughs> Look at that. That's nice. It's another two and a half, at least. It's a good looking fish too, looks healthy. Third glide bait fish. This is right after my GoPro shut off and you guys missed the other one. I'm only like 50 yards down the bank from that, if that. I was gonna make a few more casts over here before going back and trying to catch that frog fish. It missed nine times and this guy came up and I watched him come up and just, he like hit it like insanely hard. On the perch glide bait, there's zero perch in this pond or anywhere within eight hours of here, but they think it's a bluegill. He, he figured it out. There he goes. Close enough. He was up on the bank when he got off. <laughs> Missed it completely. All the way down there. Come back, come on. Missed it again. He literally, there's no weight even. So it's not even a bad hook. He's just missing. Completely. <laughs> he hit it with his nose. Coming up. We are now done fishing. I think I ended up catching uh, six, seven. I'm, I have literally zero idea how many I caught. I had 20-ish around that blobs on the frog that they just missed completely. Mom didn't catch any fish because this part of the pond is not very good, and that's the only spot with no algae. I caught three on the glide, and the rest are on the frog. So thanks for watching.